it's great. Great stuff. Welcome to game number two of our first semifinal. In the bottom right corner, wearing red and playing Zerg, it is Eric. At the bottom left, once mentored by Slayer's Boxer himself, it is Arthur as the yellow Protoss. Man, that's... I can't even imagine what that's like. Just have Slayer's Boxer, the Emperor, as your coach. <laughs> like, talking strategy with him has to be... Oh, man. I can't even fathom that. That's gotta be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see if uh, Eric goes for something similar once again. Uh, I'd like to see him go for more economic play this time, just because Arthur most likely is going to be going for that uh, that forge opener, and it looks like Eric is going to be going for that uh, Sigma Minerals. Nope, nope. As I said, that it's actually a 12 pool, so it's still pool first, but it's not it's not as early. So a little bit, get you know, squeezing out a few more drones uh -oh. there. Oh, oh get some drone. Oh no. Oh, Eric. Eric. Oh, well, he squeezed out an extra drone, but for nothing. Oh, that's oh, hero probe. It's got to kill. This isn't even a brood war probe. No, it's an SC2 dude, probe. This probe is balanced. <laughs> unlike unlike the uh, the probes after the twelve and a half percent patch, zealot probes. You remember those? Yeah, dude, those were broken. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> there was a there was a patch a few months ago where the game was sped up by twelve and a half percent. And for some reason, the probes got sped up by more than that. <laughs> they were like 50%. <laughs> oh, the probes attacked so fast. They were outrageous. Amazing DPS. Basically, you know if, best army unit. Just kidding. You know, if this were parting, there'd be cannons surrounding that hatchery. Um, but of course, parting hasn't... Uh, Touch Starbo yet, unfortunately. Sure, he will eventually. It's a pretty good game. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, everybody's gonna touch it eventually. Yeah. Once it's the only video game in existence. <laughs> <laughs> the only one worth playing. Alright. Uh, Arthur, once again, going for that normal expansion. The usual expansion timing here from our protest player. Uh, Eric, going for. A less aggressive opening. Just two lings this time. <laughs> so he's going to be able to have a bit, bit better of an economy. And we have... Whoa! Whoa! That's a really fast layer. Wow. Wow. This could this could be like... I, I'm i actually not sure what this is. Yeah, and of course we do have a, a probe seizing at the front. Yep, he's just having his own little dance party, having a nice little rave. We actually have another hatchery too. Huh. I I am not gonna pretend to know what this is, so I'm not gonna try to call it. Because that's well, just, only, that's a waste of time. <laughs> I would try to make a call, but the only time I play Zerg is when I am against the Zerg. Anyway. <laughs> okay, uh this will be really interesting. We do have Zerg speed on the way. I mean, I'm trying to think of the reasons you would go for a layer that fast, and I'm just not sure what it could be. Uh, it looks like it's going to probably be a Spire, just because I don't see... Just because I don't see a Hydra Den yet, I just figure it must be. We got this... Pro yeah, okay. Just the this fastest is... Spire imaginable. This Eric's is actually looking... really good for Arthur, because he is going for that Stargate. Yeah. But really, yeah. it'll all come down to control for both players, really. Yeah, and Stargate is coming first. We did see that Eric was able to split up his uh, Mutas pretty nicely against that that Archon. Yeah. Um, had he had more Mutalisks, it would have been a lot better. <laughs> yeah, that was so that was definitely uh, <coughs> what kind of saved Arthur was the fact that there really just weren't enough Mutas to deal with that Archon. Yeah. We do see the Chrono coming down here from Arthur. He's going to try to get as many... Corsairs as you can. Uh, pretty nice there. Uh, the thing about Eric, though, is he's just not going to have 
he's just not going to have a lot of money yet. Uh, he does have his, his second extractor. Uh, getting another hatchery is nice there, but that really fast late, um, spire just not going to be able to produce like a bunch of mutas off the bat. Mm -hmm. So it would be nice to see uh, a few scourge here with this, but I don't know that. Okay, he knows that there are corsairs though. This overlord getting picked off uh, is going to give that away. So a few a few scourge to get in there and uh, try to snipe off some of those corsairs and allow his mutas to go to work uh, could be really good. Okay, and we do see four scourge on the way now, and he is also getting the hydra den. He wants to make sure that he can defend against those Corsairs. A uh, few Hydras at each base. Uh, oh my have... goodness, 14 Scourge. Whoa, he wants to <laughs> shut this down. But we do see Arthur actually is getting a cannon uh, in his natural mineral line. Uh, not getting one in his main mineral line yet. We do see the Scourge starting to come out. So uh, Muta's actually swinging around the top and they're going to come for the main first, which is undefended. So that's pretty nice. Now these Scourge got to be careful because they're going to fly over two cannons and they could easily get picked off. Got to be extremely careful on how they engage. Takes one shot here. So that Scourge, much lower chances of being able to hit. Uh, but wow, that is that is a oh tremendous number goodness. of Scourge. So what I'm guessing is he's going to try to draw these, these Corsairs in. Oh no, these Mutas. Uh oh, Mutas! Taking these hits. Uh, oh. uh, and the Scourge, Scourge is just going to keep flying around. Okay, uh, we actually have Hydras with speed coming up, so it looks as though Eric completely switched out of those Mutas after he made a couple of them. Uh, seeing those Corsairs, just decided, you know what, I don't feel like trying against that. Um, we do have a huge number of them. Uh, seven are out in the field for Arthur, so he was coronaing that Stargate the entire time. Uh, good decision. Is able to pretty much effectively shut down any and all of that, and we do see that plus one is going to be finished for these Corsairs relatively soon. So they're going to just erase Overlords. Uh, even this number of Scourge here uh, likely will just get destroyed by this many Corsairs. So he's going to have to rely on Hydralis in order to defend. Oh no, and these Hydralis actually are going to not catch the Cors Corsairs. The Corsairs are in the main now. Uh oh! Ooh, is he able to take down number... three? Wow! Yeah, that was really good. That's more than I thought they would actually get here, but now he's starting to lose Overlords. He's going to be supply blocked extremely hard. Uh, has to start producing a huge number of Orbeez here. Uh, Nice number of Hydros here. They've got to defend these Overlords. So wherever they, they have more Overlords popping out of. Okay, and we do have more Scourge on the way now, too. So in smaller numbers like this, four or five Corsairs, Scourge have a much better chance of connecting, and I'm really impressed by the fact that uh, he was able to take down three of those Corsairs that, with that big uh, flock of Scourge. So we do see, actually, the Reaver drop is coming in here for Arthur. He's going to have Warp Prism speed uh, very soon. Also going into his Twilight Council, getting all the tech he wants. Uh, Lurkers will be finishing up here for Eric soon. Uh, but there, you know, there is a robo on the field. I'm not sure if there's an observatory yet, though. So, uh, Reavers do very well against Lings and Hydras. So, <laughs> uh, could get a lot of damage done here. But Scourge do very well against Warp Prisms. So, these Corsairs are going to have to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Escort this Warp Prism and be very careful. Can't afford to let that get picked off by Scourge. And 12 more Scourge on the way. Wow. Speaking of which, oh my goodness. That many Scourge, there might be no way to keep this Warp Prism safe. But the thing <laughs> is, the Warp Prism having speed, it is very, very quick. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually just a little bit slower than Scourge, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it might be a little <laughs> bit slower. So, see how much damage these guys can get done here. I can't check the, the kill counts on them. Oh, that's a big Scarab hit! It takes out four or five drones there. Uh, total number of workers killed now, up to 11. Oh, uh, Scourge coming in here. Oh my goodness, Scourge. Oh, he's not able to get on top of the... Oh, oh no. Not able to get all the Corsairs and the War Prism is going to survive. Going to take some shots from these Hydras, but we'll be able to get out of here. Wow. And in the meantime, Worker counts 46 for Arthur, 27 for Eric. And in the meantime, these Zealots have found this base up here for Eric. So that's going to get shut down. Eric unable to take his fourth. And Arthur's looking in a really strong position now. Not even bothering with the third base. <laughs> Arthur doesn't need third bases. Uh, as you know, if you know Arthur from StarCraft 2, he does have a reputation as an extremely aggressive player. Uh, very emblematic of that, you know, oh, two base cheesy Protoss that people have a problem with. So here come the Reavers again. See what kind of damage they can get done here to this, this grown line. Uh, workers yeah. killed count still at, it's at 14 now. Look at these Hydralists are not going to be able to get much done. Uh, Reavers. Oh! Big shots! Big shots! Loses a bunch more drones. 24 drones killed in this game now. And I think it's over at this point. Arthur's just gonna roll from here. Uh, not enough army. Not enough economy here for Eric. Arthur will likely be moving on to our finals. Dang. Is, 
this whole game has just been tons of really crisp timings from Arthur. But again, Eric hasn't been GG anyway. Eric wasn't playing bad at all that entire game. No, it was just, once again, Arthur just, you know, really great control. Yeah. Uh, really solid, clean builds. Uh, just had an answer for everything. So, and Arthur, is, moving on to our finals. The thing about...